we are back with another review, and today we are checking out a user submitted or viewer submitted pack of papers. So we had somebody who checked out our channel, they like what we got, and they want us to check out some of these pouch rolling papers. So they sent it to us for free, which is really cool because um, they mailed us out to us and we didn't have to pay for shipping or any of that, which is super cool. They just surprised us in our PO box. So Without further ado, let's check out these pouch rolling papers. Now, I did do a review on pouch rolling papers. Um, the newer style ones, that are like the burgundy pack with the uh, yellow or goldish font on it, but these are the vintage pouch papers. So let's check these papers out. Now, uh, these, I don't believe have a date on them, but I would say that these are at least from the 90s. Um, kangaroo brand introduces no hassle rolling so it's a kangaroo theme australian type spin on the paper but it's made in the republic of china so the fact that it's made in the republic of china lets you at least have a date on when these papers were released so we're probably looking at at least 30 years um, old on these papers <clears throat> pouch papers are designed to be the quickest and easiest papers ever used you won't need a bulky rolling machine or anything to catch spills because there aren't any. Just fill it, roll it, and ready to smoke it. So let's check out the papers themselves. Pull those out. Now this is a sleeve style, <clears throat> a little pouch. And we got their little logo on all the size, quality oriental rice papers. So it's a rice paper, which is nice. No spill cigarette paper, there's their marketing, 24 per pack. And again, it's just a nice little sleeve, little slide-in pouch there, just like how the paper is. So they got their little brand on there. They got their little ink brand, soy, soy ink, I imagine, uh, rolling pouch, TM. No, I do love the, the pouch papers because <clears throat> you can create this little gully right here. It has a little gully where you pack, and you basically just fill this up with as much, with as much material as you want, and you just roll it and lick it. And then once it's sealed up, you literally just twist the end off to light it up and twist the other end off to get your mouthpiece. So basically, it's like kind of like a little st a stowage pouch for your smoking materials that you could actually smoke the stowage pouch, which is pretty cool. Um, I definitely like the, the pouch papers. I was trying to see if, how the tension is on these right here, so how much you can actually... And it's got a pretty good tension on there, and I'm really putting tension on to rip this. I'll show you. I'll see if I can peel it. I can't even peel it because it's so stuck. It's the glue. The two papers are so stuck together that it's very difficult to even peel it um, apart because the glue is so stuck there. It actually rips the, and tears the paper. So it just lets you know how um, how strong the actual pouch is. It's not going to break apart on you because you're going to be putting some expensive product in here. You want to make sure that it lasts. Now, I've definitely smoked pouches before, and I love them. I love the fact that you can just take them with you and then just twist the end off, and you're ready to roll. Um, and you can fit a pretty decent amount in here. I mean, it's only it's only a gum strips distance off the tip here that you're losing on, on either end. And it would be something you, you wouldn't want to put a tip in here. It'd be something you'd go tipless. So the fact that you're going tipless in itself, you could put a tip in here, but the fact that you, you're made to go tipless is um, something that's going to get you a little bit more space and a little more room for some more product in there. So if you've tried these pouch papers before, let us know in the comments below. Thank you so much to the user that shot these over to us. We appreciate you so much. And if any users want us to let, let their names be known or, or, or share anything about them, let us know when you send us in stuff. If you send us in stuff and you don't include anything, we're not, we not there's no way we can actually give you a shout out. So um, be, clued in, be sure to include some type of shout out information or some type of contact information so we can let it be known who, who donated to us. So, um, if you want more content like this, subscribe for more. We do smoking reviews every single Monday, and I scatter them out throughout the week, so be on the lookout for that. And, uh, yeah, let us know in the comments below what you think of these pouch rolling papers. So, have a great rest of your day.